Have you ever wondered whether or not those tricks you saw on TikTok were actually real? Well, in today's video, we're going to be reacting to the best and the worst TikTok tips and tricks for Siege and seeing what's legit and what's not. Why are you still playing that laptop, bro? I can't afford a new PC. Have you checked out Apex Gaming PCs? No, I haven't. What's that? They're these like really affordable computers that you could pick up. They're really good for like console players who are trying to get into PC gaming or for like people who like yourself who have a laptop or something and want to upgrade for like an affordable price. Let me check it out. Yeah, you can use my link. You could also use code SHOCK to get up to $250 off if you're interested. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, by the way, just a quick little disclaimer. I am going to have the audio for these TikToks fairly low, so it might be hard for you guys to hear it. Uh, that's only due to copyright reasons. The last video I posted, I upped the volume and it got copyright claimed, so I apologize. But what do we got here, bro? This guy... I don't know. I don't know if this follows the tips and tricks that I was, you know, having my editor find out, but this is certainly need to watch. I'm not sure what we can, what we can, you know, come away with from there. I think because these are all funny clips and all the clips are like titled in alphabetic order. So that's why let's go to tip trick number one. Hold up. Here's all the new changes coming with this mid season patch in under a minute. All right. To start things off, each one of Doc's stim pistol shots will now heal 200 HP. However, all right, bro. Let me know what you guys feel about this down in the comments. Let me know. Are you guys excited about Doc doing 200 HP a shot from 40? Or would you rather say 40? And are you excited for the Bailiff as a third secondary, by the way, a third one? I'm hyped about that because now I'm going to run around the map with a 1.5, a gun that has no recoil. I'm a three armor, so I barely take any damage. I've got a secondary shotgun to make rotates and open hatches for while I'm roaming. And if I get shot down to low HP, I heal for full HP. So personally, I feel like the dock change a little bit busted. I feel like we're going to see a lot of dock mains coming out soon. However, since no character can actually reach 200 HP, this essentially means that every shot will return each character to their full HP. He's yep. also receiving the bailiff. As plus the, the overheal, by the way. That's plus the overheal. Overheals. The overheal cap has been reduced from 40 down to 20. Sticking All right, that's French good. Operators, the ability for Rook Armor to grant withstand to players is now finally coming to the live build. Any operator with Rook Armor will now be able to res themselves. However, won't be able to pick up another armor plate like they could before. Dr. Ah, okay. will now affect dead players on cameras. Cassidy really? Also receiving his old pistol bag. Wow. Aida and Goyo's TCSG ammo is going... Hold on, so does that mean when you're in the Dokubi call, if someone's watching, say, 90 cam on Villa and it's a dead defender and Dokubi calls, is the cam going to start, like, vibrating? Like, what, what, is, what does it mean it affects it affects them? I have, I ha I'd have to imagine that just means, like, it kicks them off, right? Like, how does that make any sense? I don't know. Dead cat on 21. Cali sniper damage is increasing to increasing. From oh my god, I hate Cali, which reduce recoils such as the grips and some of the muzzle attachments. All right, guys, so I think most of those changes were implemented already, but I did want to talk about that dock change because that dock one I feel like is something that people aren't talking about enough. The fact that he can heal you up to 200 HP is kind of crazy. Okay, let's see, what, let's see what man Mayo has to say. These are five angles you need to learn today in Rainbow Six Siege. Heard that, Mayo. Line, if you make a it's a bar, an important one. This one's real important. Here, you can see the mud door walking into yep. sunrise. This Another is a great one. On coastline. If you make a hole here, shoot out the cushion here. Ah. You can see the hookah door walk in below the benches and hookah. It's pretty At smart. Oregon, if you open the attic hatch, make a hole here on T1 wall. Yep. You can see the T1 cross from the doorway. On con additionally on this uh map i'm pretty sure everybody knows about this angle but just in case you don't if you open up the same wall but just on the top and then you open up the floor by the back armor wall here you can actually see up and down the back stairs on consulate if you go into admin this one's common here you can see the visa door cross yeah this is smart i used to play here in comp i forget what we called it but i used to do something similar basically we'd uh we try to hold below the best we could from our our anchor positions in an admin on cafe if you make holes here yep open the hatch here Use the hatch yep you can see cigar cross into the site come on people know about that one right people should follow me though he's a goat all right let's go do a funny clip bro let's let's see the second one what's this go 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 reinforce the inside bro this is old bro this is a throwback to old siege right now you know what the thing is this it's not even actually that old it's not even actually that old like it has like someone new HUD. Oh, that's an L, bro. That's an L. <laughs> Why are we stuck? <laughs> Listen, bro, it's not really a tip and trick, but we gotta have some fun here, right? All right, let's figure out how to improve our aim. 
console or PC. First one is okay. tracking one bullet on the wall while you move and also controlling your recoil. Second Pardon? one is flicking two bullets on the wall, which can show if you're over flicking or under flicking. And third one is 180s, which means if someone is shooting behind you, you'll be able to turn around quickly and shoot back. Like and subscribe for more Rainbow Six tips. Yeah, sounds like some of the things I've said in my These previous uh, aim training videos, but definitely some good advice there. The three most unknown but broken angles on club. If Pardon? you're attacking CCTV, you kill whoever's holding a bomb from dirt. Okay, this isn't this isn't dirt, but that's all right. But that's it's a good angle nonetheless, and this actually is like a somewhat safer way of going about this, because otherwise you'd have to go through stock, which they could have the bar wall open. Obviously, they've got a smoke, so they could open up the bar wall from con hatch. They can make floor holes, etc. So it's definitely a safer way to do it. But sometimes these TikTok strats will look a little bit more enticing than they actually are, right? So for example, you're like, oh, I'm gonna do this on all my strats. Sometimes though, especially in higher elos, you're gonna have someone playing in oil pit underneath the garage. You're gonna have someone roam downstairs, or you're gonna have the the hatch just fully barricaded here, not reinforced, but just soft. And if you're playing an operator like Ash, that's great because you can open that up. But then you're gonna lose. You're gonna use both your ash charges for one one spot on the floor effectively. So it could be worth your time to just clear underneath. You know what I mean? On the other hand, if you're defending CCTV, you can break this wall. And you okay. can pull the garage door from pool. Ooh, that's a nice angle. Actually, I've never seen that one. Anyone entering rafters by jumping? I've used window. I've used this one a lot. That's the NJR spot. I've used that last one a lot, but listen, that the second to last one, I actually haven't seen that before. That's smart. Side when are Whenever we push side side when there are trophy statue, there's always a guy by deer. So if you get a chance to net from below, do it. Then there's this common spot where they usually pick you in statue, and that's middle frame in memo or dining. It actually is true. Th these are some great nade spots. Now that you Finally, think about it. Astro behind the desk or the box are common for a lot. I need that one a lot. If a master take and you manage to take control below, then you might as well get a free kill. I don't need that one a lot. Hey, those are some great nade spots. I haven't even thought about some of those. That Planting one, the, diffuser. the one from uh, underneath, uh, that one's really smart. Planting the diffuser is an extremely important part of Siege. Yep. Here are five less obvious counters to planting the diffuser. Number one. Legion Mines, Ella Mines. Uh, let's keep going. I just wanted to say Ella Mines really quickly in Legion Mines because I used to use Ella and Legion so frequently in comp um, because those are like the two operators I played. And boy, did I deny a lot of plants. Let me tell you. Legion. When poisoned by Legion, attackers are forced to remove the needle before being able to plant the diffuser. Yeah. So on OG Oregon, the way uh, the default plant used to be that you hopped up on a uh, laundry machine, like a dryer, and you'd plant on it. So what I would do is at the base of the laundry machine, I would place a goo mine and at the top of it, I'd place one. That way, no matter what they chose to do, they had to take a goo mine off before planning. And stuff like this, like this really is what separates the good players from the pro players. Cause like knowing stuff like this is important. Number two, Echo. True. If the I, planter is concussed by Echo. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Is this unknown? Wait, hold on. What did he call extremely this? Extremely important. Five to planting the diffuser. Number. Here are five less obvious counters. To he said here Sophia are five less obvious counters, but then he shows Echo, which I feel like is the most common. Ella and Sophia can. Ella, yep. Like Echo, already said that. Gershmat mines and Sophia's stuns can stop the planting animation. Yeah, don't do that as Zof. Impact grenades. If attackers plant on the um, side, defenders can throw impact grenades from below to cancel the plant animation. Number five, okay. well, my Zofia and Nomad. Although it's unlikely, if a Zofia what? stun or air jab is pulled near the planter by Wamai's magnet, the plant will be canceled. Okay, listen, bro. He's right on these ones. I'm not going to say he's wrong, but he said unique or whatever. And then he showed echo, which is a very calm or which is very common, or at least used to be. And these these the impact grenades, I'll give him this. I actually didn't know that they canceled the animation. I thought it only did a lot of damage to you. But I guess if you impact directly beneath the planner, it'll cancel the animation, which I don't know. It's definitely useful, don't get me wrong, but at that point, you just see them and shoot them, right? Anyways, moving on, what do we got? Having good game sense is not something you just acquire from one day to another. But luckily, Heard. there's some quite easy things you can do to gain game sense. Some things right. you should do is watch skilled players when they play the game. For a you should watch skilled players, man. That's one of the biggest things I said like when I did coaching, as well as when I uh, made a lot of tip videos here on YouTube. It's one of the most important things I recommended. Watch pro league players, watch how they play, and uh, really try to learn from them. Example in Twitch streams. 
You can learn so much from this. You'll see why players make certain decisions, how they move through the map, what angles they hold, and how they set up bomb sites or attack sites. The other thing you true. can do is play the game a lot. From playing lots, you get an Definitely idea of true. where people tend to push from, what operators you'll see, and where people are. For yep. example, I have my drone in Visa here on Consulate, and I saw Smoke going into Visa. With my game sense, I knew, all right, he's probably going to hide into the corner at the Visa door, so it was an easy target for me to pre-fire. Smart play, yeah, definitely. And, and what they said about like trying to just play the game a lot. I mean, you can see they really only gave like two tips to improving your game sense, and that's watching other people play, and that's playing yourself. And honestly, that's the only two things you can realistically do. A lot of people get really caught up in trying to do like some sort of crazy strat or like do all these different things to try to improve. But at the end of the day, like all you need to do is just focus on playing, right? What's this? You know how to breach certain walls and hatches without a fat shot. Go above or below. Carly. Even when they are electrified. If there is a wall such as dining yep. or meeting on Oregon, where above the wall there is a soft floor, you are actually able to place a thermite charge vertically above the wall. This will result in the upper half of the wall exploding regardless of a K slash bandit charge. It's true. The wall allowing for the attackers to vault and easily plant. Ultimately, this too can be used on hatches. If yep. the floor next to a hatch is soft, this is busted. Thermite is able to place this is busted. Right next to the hatch on the wooden floor and it will still blow up. This mechanic is criminally underused by players even It honestly kind of is. If you found this helpful, please drop a follow. All right, listen, I got to agree with him. This shot it kind of is underrated and there, there's a decent there's a decent reason for it though, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what it is. Listen. The second second I'm playing underneath the hatch in high elo, there's going to be holes here for the impact grenade regardless whether they're impact grenade grenading or not like impact tricking or not they're gonna have the holes just for the audio and just for like to scare the attackers right the second i hear that an ace charge got placed and it wasn't on the hatch i already know what this guy's doing so it makes less sense for this guy to throw it on the right side because he has to walk all the way around this bar in the kitchen to go over there it makes more sense that he throws it right here so i'm just gonna start spamming this that or I'm going to use the impact grenade holes that we already had and just impact the hatch anyways. <laughs> but it is it is a good strat. I'll give you that. It's a good strat. And I got me the super shoddy for her body. Oh, boy. This technique is called pump alicious. Okay. Soon as she moves, she gets the blues. Oh, you got to be diamond one for this one now. <clears throat> oh. I'm diamond one. This technique is called sleeping with the enemy, y'all. Oh, God. Sleeping with the enemy. I'm diamond one. Shoot out the cap can traps. Sleeping with the enemy. We're gonna use her. Oh my god. Cover. What is Jaeger <clears throat> doing? Sorry, brother. You're done. I'm <laughs> one. Man, you can't you can't argue with those shots, can you? Oh come on, man. No, bro. You're telling me. Oh uh, not skins, not more esports skins. We're not doing this again. Bro, we're not doing this again. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, the, the whole new weapon skin bundle came yep. out. Yep. Every season, bro. Expensive. 720. They are expensive. Oh, that's like what, like five bucks per skin? How many skins are in this? Oh my Too many, gosh. man. Look at this. I ain't gonna lie. These, oh my God. These look really nice though. All right. One thing, and it's not going to be like my other TikToks, right? Like where I just uh -huh. like, go on and I'm like, oh, this is stupid. And I'm like, you know, all that shit. I'm not going to buy. There's no way I would spend money because this yep. is actually ridiculously priced, bro. This is it is ridiculous price. Stupid. Bro, I was about to cut to him buying everything. No way anyone would pay 500 like our 720 credits per uh -huh. that's what i thought until i bought them all <laughs> oh my god so that's gonna be all the clips i have today uh some of them tips and tricks some of them not we got some funny ones thrown in there too because uh you know why not but i appreciate you guys watching subscribe if you're new turn notifications on i post daily on the channel here like the video if you enjoyed comment down below other video suggestions and thanks for watching